Hi, my name is Claire Halpin. I am an artist and a workshop facilitator. This is Claire and us at the Art Gallery. Today we are going to visit the High Lanes Gallery in Drogheda County Louth. We're going to have a look at the current exhibition, which is two painters, Cathy Tyne and Andrew Vickery. We'll have a look at some of their paintings and get some ideas to make our own artworks. Oh look, there we are at the Art Gallery. Okay, so I want you to take a quiet moment to have a look at this artwork. What do you see? What is going on in this artwork? When we were looking at it last week with the class group, first class group, um, we thought maybe, somebody thought, we were wondering about where it might be. And somebody thought it might be Ireland. And we wondered why they thought it was Ireland. And they said because the colours, they said it was like the colour of the sky in Ireland and the colour of the sea. Then somebody else said they thought they recognised the building. And they thought maybe it was a Martello Tower. And this girl explained that she had seen a Martello Tower and they're only on the east coast of Ireland. So then we wondered was it maybe in Dublin because she had seen one in Dublin. We then looked behind the tower and we were thinking was there a city just over to the right hand side and we thought it was a city because we looked at the different shapes of the buildings so they weren't all just houses there was a building maybe that looked like a church or a building maybe looked like some offices and some houses and some shops and then we noticed the boat over on the left hand side and we knew it was a boat because look there it was on the sea and then we wondered, was the boat going over to the city, behind the tower, along through the sea, over maybe to deliver things to the city? Then we looked at the person in the front, and we wondered, what were they doing? Had they been in swimming? Or maybe, maybe they were going in swimming. And then somebody thought, oh, maybe that building is a changing room. Because look, there's stairs, and there's a door and maybe the person could go inside we still weren't sure whether it was a boy or a girl maybe they could go inside and change to go swimming we then looked at the way the artist had painted the painting how they had used different brushes and different shapes and colors to create the texture and the feeling that it was like brick with different sorts of brickwork because there's the brickwork that's on the tower, then there's the brickwork that's on the path, and then look, there's a different brick pattern over to the right hand side of the tower. And then we looked at how the different colours created a sense of place. So that's what we're going to do today to experiment with some different painting techniques for you to create your own place. This can be your favorite place. This could be some place that you've never been to before. It could be a place that you have been to before, maybe on holidays and you remember it. Maybe it's not a real place. Maybe it's a place from your imagination. Maybe it's a place in your dreams. Okay, so to start painting in your place, have a look, see what paintbrushes you have. And let's have a look and see how you might use them in different ways to create different patterns and texture to create this place of yours. So I'm gonna start with that brush there, have a little look. We're gonna use sort of a brush stroke. I'm gonna use a sweeping brush stroke. Are you gonna put a lot of paint onto your brush? Bit. So you want to dab your paintbrush, create a different sort of mark, but create a different sort of pattern. So seeing what every brush can do, what's the different ways you can use your brush 
to create different patterns, textures, maybe even atmosphere as well. Okay, so that's just one of my brushes. Let me try this one here. This is a soft little brush, so I might use it with maybe a little bit more water. No, I'm going to put down some water first. Let's see. Maybe add another little bit of water. If you're thinking of, am I going to create fiery landscape and fiery place? Or maybe, let's have a look at another two. So, something else you might have at home. Um, plastic knife. This is like the palette knife that artists use, but it's a way that cheaper way of doing it and to use it like a palette knife so you can use the knife to scoop in on the paint or you can also use the knife to scrape off the paint and also you can use the knife to mix the colors on your painting as well so we're starting to create Lines, stripes, with a texture or something. You can also use the knife to draw with paint. So using it to make lines. Doing something like that structure or something. Another time you're just experimenting with paint, seeing what you can do. Okay. Other tools that I have here and plastic fork and um, similar to the plastic knife except with this one it's probably more about using it to make it lines as well and then we have our trusty cotton buds as well can be used to make some as well. And while the paint is still wet there, I don't want to run another color. So mixing the paint on the canvas from the paper. And other things you might have around the house, um, some card, which I have just turned on the packet. So you can use the card to scoop on the paint, but also you can have larger areas or larger stripes. So that's just a few ways of using different tools, different paint, different consistency of paint, which is like how thick or thin you're going to use the paint, and using different gestures, whether you're going to use the sweeping gesture or, or um, dabbing the paint on and off. Um, so hopefully that will help you to create some places. You can follow High Lanes Gallery on Facebook and check out more of Claire and us at the Art Gallery.